You are a Muhammadan. Uh, okay, let's see. There's a guy here is saying. Uh, this guy, he called himself. Uh, why don't answer my call? Uh, okay, this guy is excited. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Hello, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing good. You hear me good? Yeah, you are a Muslim, you said? Yes, I am. Did you speak to me before? You know who this is. Uh, your voice is uh, familiar. You are not a Muslim. You, you know who I am. You know exactly who I am. I've come on here before many times. Yeah, I don't know. But you spoke to me, but I think you left Islam, right? No, I never left Islam. What are you talking about, man? Okay. Anyways, listen, this is what I came here to tell you, man. Oh, tell me. Right? Okay. Now, you, you've been around many Muslims. You know Muslims. You know we're good-hearted people. Whether you agree with the religion or not, you know we're good people. We do good by others. We help each other out. And you're here to try and destroy us as people. You know what you're doing is filth. Mm. All you do is read the books all day and spread hatred between the two of us. Muslims mm. and Christians, you know you're not following the ways of Jesus. Mm. You're not following God's ways. You don't promote good works, which makes me think you're a Protestant. Because whenever I bring up the good, the word good works around Protestants, it, it's like the devil comes out of them, mm. and they start getting all upset with me. Mm. And that is you, my friend. Okay. You don't promote God. All right. You don't promote God. Can I talk? You never did. Can I talk? Of course you can. Okay, can you read for me chapter 5, verse 14 in the Quran? I'm not here to read any... Uh, why, 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 friend. why? No, because why, you why? you the Quran memorized. No. I get it, you're a genius. No, no, you're no, no. You see? No, you see? I, I got, may be here I, I got, you. I got you. I got you busted. You accuse me. You accuse, you accuse, you accuse me. You accuse me. You accuse me. Listen, listen. Busted. Listen, don't cry. You accuse me to teach hate, but the Quran says Allah will spread hatred and enmity. Okay. And you okay, said to you me, in America. You live in America. What, don't what, give what me Muslim a speech hate? about America. What Muslim hate you? What Muslim hate you? All Muslim hate Maybe me, Muslim in, in, including you. Your call is a your, your call is a hate call because you did not listen, you did not prove listen, me wrong. Stop quoting the Quran and tell me one Muslim that hates you. The, uh, okay, Muslim are you are you saying to me you don't follow the Quran? My friend, what I'm telling you is. You're trying to cause, are you saying to cause are you saying cause world war with you you with you Muslims kill people without anything it doesn't matter you can even Muslims listen, listen, my you friend, know my friend, don't my call friend, me a friend I am not I am not your friend the Quran chapter wherever 5 chapter America, Quran chapter 5 cha chapter 5 first chapter 5 Maybe verse number 5 Chapter 5, verse 51 says, yeah, Take it, not. Friend, I get it. You, you take, have a different verse for every Muslim that calls. No, Muslim no. Calls, I, I'm not the one who have a verse. I'm, 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 I'm showing you. I'm showing you that you. I'm showing you that you are. I'm showing you. I'm showing you that you are a liar because you say you keep showing me, my friend, when the Quran says a Muslim cannot take non Muslims as a friend. So why you are calling me a friend? Is that a hypocrisy? Is that because you are a devilish man? You're trying to present yourself as a good person. You said to me, have you ever seen a Muslim teaching hate? Yes, here we go. This is a verse of hate. I want to take you as a friend. Why the Quran saying, don't take a Christian as a friend? Go ahead, answer. My friend, you've asked me this when I've called you three years ago. You've so why, asked me. why you are, then we, you know, so, so, so why, no, you, 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 you never, you never, you never, you never debate me before. I remember your voice, but uh, now I remember you are a very silly person. You avoid what is written in your book, yet you call yourself a Muslim. Okay, do you okay, follow? My friend, you've talked to 10,000 people. How can you remember me? I rem this, this is why, no, I remember you, and this is why I say it. Okay, where am I from? Where am I from? Then tell me, where am I from? Where I don't I care, from? maybe from Canada, but I, what you said to me is very clear. This is why I said to you from the beginning, you talked, you called me before, right? Even though you are using a new name now, I never saw a call from you before. Today, only the call. But right away, I noticed that your voice is not strange. Is correct? I said to you, you called me before. So, listen. Yeah, chapter CP, chapter, fi chapter calls, 5. Calls, no, no. No. Chapter 5, verse 51. You said you are a Muslim. Friend, 
my friend, my you friend. Said, you I said you said you are you want to talk are you um, are you um, want to talk Quran? why I'm why okay you. are you ashamed of the Quran no, that's not it. That's so not why it. you don't want to talk about it? I, I like to learn Quran. Okay. Teach me, you know. Okay. Okay. I want to be. Can I say this? Don't say, say no. This don't say this. Say that. Don't say this. Say that. Okay, let me say so, that. Let chapter say five. It's right, right. okay, that, that, that 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 is five fifty one. Quran five fifty one. This okay. is five fourteen. So which one you want? Listen, you want to you want to say you want to say this? Calling about the Quran. I'm calling and expose you, my friend. How you can expose me if I'm saying how I'm how I'm exposed exposing me by saying the truth? You notice how you're dodging the questions? You don't want to have a serious talk. Okay, seriously, it's you who's dodging the Quran. Okay, CP, this is what I'm saying to you. You have spent probably a million hours talking the Quran. Me not talking about it for two minutes is not going to do anything. But me so, bringing up the but isn't it? But isn't it? Devil, but isn't it? It's not. Talk about that. Isn't it? Why is, would you defend yourself that you are the devil? Okay. Why would you defend yourself? Okay, I will go with you. What the devil does? Okay, this is what I'm saying All right? right? Uh -huh. Let's just say, watch, I'm going to give you a scenario. Mm. Let's just say that Islam is wrong and Christianity is right, right? Are mm. you following me? No, I'm not. Are you following me? No. Which would mean, hear me out, hear me out. Let's say Islam is wrong and Christianity is right and all of us Muslims are brainwashed. Mm. Let's go with that. Mm. That would mean... If I go around and every other Muslim goes around and we talk Islam, that means we're brainwashed. We think the religion is good, but we don't know that it's not really good, mm. right? Mm. That would mean you need to do your job as far as helping us out and do it and then getting us closer to God, which you are doing. But this is what I'm saying. Mm. You and your buddies, you're doing a portion of that. But you're doing majority of hate and war. Yeah, okay, you see. see what I'm saying? Okay, I don't okay. Care if no, you, upset you, are talking, you are talking. You are talking. You are talking. You are talking, you are talking like a teenager. You are not a mature person. How many I'm people? As long you are, as case. long you are watching my, as long you are watching. Shut up. As long you are watching my videos for years, have you ever heard me saying I hate Muslims? Never. Have you seen Muslims leaving Islam, accepting Jesus? Yes. My friend, so you know you if hate I don't no, say you don't hate Muslims. no, I don't. You call people donkeys all day. No, you hate. You, you hate. You day. hate. You hate the Christians, and this is in the Quran. I love the, Christians. What no, okay, that means you are the Muslim. I was at a church on Sunday. Okay. Are you crazy? So you you go you, you go to church. Man? You go to church every Sunday. I was on a church on Sunday. Who you think you talking? Okay, to? hold on. Then that's you are the Muslim because the Quran says. Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. So you don't. You in order to be. Shut up. Shut up. So you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let me talk. Let me talk. Shut up. So in order to be good, to be good according to you, is not to follow the Quran. And this is my point. I'm trying to make Muslims. According to me, how is this according to me? You just said you have a friends. They are Christian. Even you go to church with them. Correct. Yes. Yes. But this is against. But this is against the Quran. So in order to be good according to your understanding is by going against the Quran. And this is exactly what I'm trying to teach the Muslims. So now, thank you very much for leaving Islam, my friend. I'm so happy for you. Do you want me to pray for to Jesus to make to 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 save you? Listen, my friend, my friend. Don't my call me my friend. This is what I'm trying to so tell you. Am I your have... am, am I your friend or your enemy? Okay, listen, listen. CP, hmm. let me tell you this. No, I don't have Whether time. You I, I, blah, 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 blah. I'm just a kid. Is it this is the same guy who called me? He said we Muslims we have good deeds before. <laughs> good deeds. It, it's in hate, you know. Okay, the Quran says Allah spread the hatred and enmity between the Christians. Allah he said he will spread the hatred and enmity between the Jews. So the second we read for them their book, so we are teaching hate for reading your book, for saying the truth. How that can be? It must be the book of hate then. Thank you very much. I don't have time for kids, my friend. I don't care what you say. And the funny is, you are watching me for many years and you keep coming back. But you don't like what I say. Weird though. You know, I don't know what kind of hashish you are talking. Okay, my friend, uh, I want you to prove to me that you are what you claim, that you are a good person. I want you to buy a lizard Give him a kiss. Okay? 
to prove to me that you are not following the hatred of Muhammad. Even even a lizard is your enemy. I mean, there is any anyone in this world is safer from Islam. Monkeys, you stone them. Lizard, you want to kill them. Even Muhammad, he says, the one who shoot the lizard from the first time, he will get a special reward. Second time, less reward. Three, third time, the lowest. Lizard, it's a very, actually, lizard, they, they help a lot in controlling uh, insects. Since when the lizard is an enemy of God? If your God, his enemy is a lizard, who is your God then? Insect? For the only one who will hate such a creature is the insect, mosquitoes. Lizard eat them. Your God must be a mosquito. From Japan. Like Miss, you know, Toyota, Miss uh, Honda, uh, mosquito. Your enemy is your size. The size of your enemy is your size. So if I am a person, I am Hercules, and I'm going to wage war against lizard. People would die laughing at me. What kind of Hercules you are? I am Samsung, and uh, you know, uh, I am uh, Samson, I am uh, Charles the Third. He's an idiot. I think Charles the Earth. You know, he will he will run away from a rabbit. Uh, I am uh, Prophet of Allah Muhammad. And I'm going to fight the lizard, Samson, Samson. That when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire, all the creatures of Allah used to try and put off the fire, with the exception of the house lizard. It used to try to blow so that the fire would grow and this shows you that you know i heard i don't know if this is true like now they are using uh lizard uh, like you know those people they go for uh like they live off a grid etc they bring lizard so they can start fire for them because you know like in the beginning you have to blow like oof, oof, oof. so what do you do you go and catch a lizard, all right? You put him next because it's in, it's inside them. You know, they cannot resist the temptation. So when you start fire, you bring a lizard, you know, you put him next to the, like, the some uh, wood you are doing, trying to start the fire with it, and lizard will do the rest. <laughs> you know, they love it. It's They are like, they, this is like, this, this, they're the evil, evil, you know? They love to start fire. So if you go in the wood, like, you know, you want to do camping, uh, you know, let us say you are going to do jihad, you know, going against black dogs, the enemy of Allah, shaitan, black dogs, yeah, and, uh, you know, and you want to start a fire, like now you kill the dog and now it's time to eat, uh, you want to eat halal food, all right, like uh, you want to boil some camel piss, I should actually just drink it raw, not uh, boil, okay, you want to boil the, the camel bo uh, balls, so what do you do, you need to start a fire, how you do it, Simply, you just get a lizard, and the lizard will do his job. You know, lizard, he does what lizard does. Chicken does what a chicken does. You know, I mean, every creature do what uh, this creature does. Just listen, listen, wisdom. In Sahih al-Bukhari, where the Prophet told us, alayhi salatu wasalam, that when Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, was thrown by his people in the blazing fire. Actually, I heard, I don't know if it's true, that Ibrahim, he have a book in his, like when he died, his wife, she put his book in auction. It says, the book title is My Story with the Lizard. You know, very sad story. How Abraham being captured by the enemies, his people want to burn him alive because he don't believe in their idols, and how the lizard, he brought all the lizard from around the world. You know, big, big army of lizard. And uh, the funny is, that the Muslim they want to kill the lizard today, 
because they are grand 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 grandfather he did blow wind at Abraham and the Muslim they say it is not justice in Islam to pay for the sin of others <laughs> I mean, do you see the stupidity of this religion? Brother, it's not right. It's not justice. Everyone will pay for his mistake. Only. You don't pay for the mistake of somebody else. Why you want to kill the lizard today? Let us say for the sake of a stupid potato, tomato, hummus, that there is a stupid lizard in the time of Abraham. He have a big mouth. He decided to do bad stuff to Abraham. Why you want to kill all the lizard in the world because of that guy? Who is the stupid here? I mean, do you see the stupidity? And this guy is calling me, is so excited, you know. What a potato you are. Can I uh, please ask uh, something? Is beef beef uh, off the topic? Okay, uh, give me a question of the topic. We are done anyway. You know, I'm, it's already almost two a.m. in the morning, and I don't want the lizard to wake up and come to me. Give me the question. Let me exit from Skype so we don't get many more calls no more. All right, we are out of Skype. <clears throat> As you see, this is a very stupid religion, if we can call it a religion. Um, and w the second we face the Muslims with their, with their own, text and their own books they do their best to escape speaking about it because it's embarrassment embarrassment when a Muslim he speak about uh, Trinity it doesn't make sense sense to who I mean a Muslim talking about making sense you see if an atheist he come to me and he say something I will say okay you know, an atheist a Muslim talking about making sense and by the way in graduation atheist it turned to be that the Big Bang theory is a fraud did you did you watch the last discovery from the web uh, James Webb uh, you know all the drama about the Big Bang theory and you, know, la, you teach it in school it turned to be all of it, you know, is nothing for nothing but a stupid thing, you know. Right? There's a there's a guy. I think he's a scientist. I don't know if he's an American or I think he's an American, but originally maybe from Japan. I think he they call him Kako, Kako something. Yeah. Uh, uh, anyway, so this this guy, his name, give the question. Uh, Sora five verse number two. What about it? Give me the question, my friend. Don't tell me Sora five verse number two. What do you want? You want just explanation? Open Ibn Kathir and read the explanation. But I mean, uh, you know, if you if you have a question for me, at least give me something valuable. This is not really important. It's just a stupid pagan practice. I thought you have something serious. Do we have, actually we cannot take any more Muslim, that's it, we exit uh, Skype. Uh, 
why stupidity is still amazing because it's uh, um, um, amuse you you know it's uh There's a grand mission, it's a pagan thing. Everything in Islam is pagan. Everything in the Quran is pagan. The Quran, you know, in that verse, confirm what the Arab used to do before Islam. It's the same, continue. The black stone, the sacrifice, uh, the practice, uh, the, the forbidden mouth, is, this is all from the pagans before Islam. This is all, you know, is a continue of the paganism before Islam. So not only that, everything in that verse. And the verse before it and the verse after it. All right. So guys, uh, uh, download the video. Uh, cut the, the calls, the Muslim they call me. I mean, this guy, the last one who called me is not worth it. He's just silly, stupid. I, I feel sorry, actually, for him. I mean, uh, he have the same argument. You want to start war? I mean, you curse me five times a day. Each time they pray Al-Fatiha, you say, Allah, please, don't make us the same as the curse, uh, the, the, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. Five times a day. We are the one who start war. Can you find me one Muslim country is a safe place for any, even for Muslims? Have you have read the new study about the Shrod of Terrain? I'm not really interested in those studies because those studies can be true, can be false. My friend, all studies, <coughs> people, they choose what to believe too, and they call it, to make it sound authentic, let's say, they are saying to you the Shroud is the true. Or even a study saying it's not a true. So the one who is a believer, he will take the study where it says is true. And the one he is not a believer, he will say he will take the study where it says is not true. However, are we Christians because of that? No. Who care? Why even I should care for this? We don't believe in Jesus because there is an image of Jesus somewhere. If it exists or not, that will not change anything. And for me, I never and I will never believe in studies because mostly studies is based on agenda. You know, the decency is very rare, you know, between those who make studies. Very rare. Like, you know, for how long they are teaching your kids about the Big Bang? They don't even agree it's a study. They, they call it a fact. The fact, when the fact it is a theory, is not a fact. And now they start discovering that all their theory is a fraud, is a stupid. They study how galaxy, how many years can take for a galaxy to, to be exist. It turned to be all the numbers is wrong. Based on what? Based on a new study. And then later, another study will prove that the second study is false, not only the first one. And then the third, fourth study, five study, and seven study. And then they keep, you know, upgrading their studies because simply all those studies are a fabrication. All of them, they are based on theory, not in science. We, we send a telescope to the space, but did we really, can the telescope discover anything? No, pictures. Sometimes even pictures can be illusionate. Like as an example, uh, uh, the black hole, they teach always that those hole, it's a hole, it's empty. And now they are saying, no, it's not empty. So all this time you are teaching children that it is empty hole. Massive, empty, black, dark. It turned to be, in, so, I mean, don't, don't be driven by faith have nothing to do with the study of science. The one who tried to prove to you the image of Jesus, it is the image of Jesus, our scientists, right? I will never take what they say for granted. Because never mentioned, never mentioned, that Jesus, in order to prove himself to us, he will leave something like this. 
all the miracles Jesus did, and now we will believe because of an image on a tower? A human being, when he is weak in faith, he looks for anything. He is desperate to prove himself. The atheists do the same. The Christians do the same sometimes, because they have weak faith. And Muslims, they do the same. Your faith is your challenge. And most of people, they want to see. They don't want to believe without seeing. Even Jesus, he come to this earth, still don't want to believe. And then the one who believe, sometimes because they have paganism in their mind, they want something, literally something in their hand, to make them believe. A Christian person, he believe without any of those things. God is good, my friend, for he did good, he said good, and he is good. Not because there is a good scientist trying to prove to me that my belief is true. That's not why we believe. In fact, if you believe in Jesus, you should believe that science does not agree that if you put some mud on the eye of somebody who is blind, you can make him see. Do you need scientists to prove that to you? So if you base your belief in science, then you should not believe in Jesus. For the miracles of Jesus is totally against science. A person is born of a virgin. You will believe or you will not believe. You know, don't do the same mistakes as the Muslims, who they are trying to find legitimate reason to believe in Islam by fabricating science fit with the religion. I don't care what science says. I believe God is above science. And the miracle of Jesus is even reported by historian, not scientist. Historian. Even the enemies of Jesus, if you go in the Talmud, you will see that the enemies of Jesus, they agreed that Jesus did a lot of miracles, claiming that he went to Egypt and he learned magic. Even the enemy of Jesus, in the most hateful book against Christ, the Talmud, they agreed that Jesus did miracle. Historian. You know what this guy, his name, uh, uh, Porat, Parat Haraman, whatever his name. Even this guy, he agreed that Jesus did miracles. So how you, how you say you're an atheist? How you deny him? Even he agreed that he came from the grave. The, uh, you know, uh, uh, David, would he ask him, did, did the, uh, the disciples, they saw Jesus after the crucifixion? He said, yeah, they saw something. Those are the enemies of Jesus. But I'm not going to believe because he agree. I call him Borat, eh, man, not, uh, uh, you know, he's like a Borat, he's, he's silly and stupid. Uh, the second you listen to those people, the two second you will see how you can e e easy, you can conquer their argument from their own words. A Christian, he do not need science to prove Jesus to him. Neither scientist. Because God is something and science something else. Science actually, the purpose of science when it's come to creation is to make you believe in theories, not in facts. And this theory will live until another theory come and bury the previous one. Remember, scientists before they believed the earth is a flat. Scientists, not like normal people, like the educated ones. Scientists before, like the scientists of the Greek people, they believe in many fiction stuff. Scientists, they are the scientists of their time. Science today is no different. 
is based on experiment and the experiment can be proved to be wrong anytime anytime our knowledge is very limited and the more knowledge we have the more we find that we know nothing so I believe that science at the end not now is going to prove that God is true For the only science is exist is the science of God. Let be light, light was. They are trying to understand how light to come to existence. They give you tons of theories. Theories. Don't go by their, you know, agenda. Uh, Anything else? Yeah, so avoid asking me those questions about, uh, you know, the new discovery, about the uh, image of Jesus, etc. I don't care, really. I will not even go to see it, even if it's true. Because I believe in him, not in an image. Uh, do you think mankind will live for such long to prove God no you do not need to live long to prove God you will prove God as soon as you die <laughs> you know you do not need to live to know God when you die you will know God No. When you when you die, it doesn't take long. A human being can reject as he wish, but as soon as he die, he find if God is true or not. Right? For sure, we don't believe in the punishment of the grave, as the Muhammad and they say. No, but you know we believe that you are going to be. Your body will die, but your spirit will not. And then your spirit will be able to recognize things you yourself did not recognize before. Because now you are not trapped inside your body. Your spirit is free. And I believe the spirit is going to witness something we never witnessed before. And if your spirit is alive, that alone is proving that God is true. You are not dead. Your body is dead. So yes, as soon as you die, you will find out if God is true or not. Simply, if you are dead totally, you and your spirit does not exist, that means there is no God. Eternal life is to believe in the Son. That he is your savior and to worship the father and the son and the holy spirit this is what jesus this is the eternal life and if you go to chapter john chapter 17 this is the eternal life i have glorified you on the earth i have finished the work which you have given me to do and now O oh father glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was right and before that he mentioned uh, I believe in verse number two as you have given him the authority over the flesh that he should give you eternal life to give sorry should give eternal life to as many as you have given and what is the eternal life then? And this is the eternal life, that they may know you, that you are the only true God and Jesus Christ, who have you sent. Who is Jesus? Is the Son. When you believe, 
That is the eternal life. You receive it. Eternal life is not a is not a beautiful speech. It is reality. Life for eternity. To know the Messiah, to know the Father, and to glorify the Son and the Father. You know, when I asked this person who he called me, uh, I mentioned to him this. I mentioned to him uh, how, ex okay, explain to me. You said we Christian, we change the meaning of the Bible. How, what the meaning of Jesus saying, uh, the glory which we have together, which means the Son and the Father, I had with you before the world was. What does that mean? Jesus, he just said, he have a glory with the Father before all the world come to existence. The Muslim, they say, we change the meaning of the Bible. Okay, give me the meaning. Who is this person who have a glory with God before the world? Which means before all creation. So when the Mohammedan, they say, Nowhere in the Bible it says that Jesus, he said, I'm God, worship me. That's a lie. A man, he have no glory. But Jesus, yet he is in the flesh of a man, he have the glory of God. For his glory before the existence of all creation. Don't let the liars teach you. Those who listen to liars, they will learn lies. Our book is the word of Jesus. It's not the word of any. You see, when we read even the book of, we call it the book of John, but we don't listen to John. We are not interested in John himself. I don't follow John I follow Christ John himself is a follower of Christ so John he wrote the book to tell us what happened what he saw what he witnessed the important is is Jesus and that will give you the eternal life nothing else you know the Muslim they keep quoting for us chapter 17 as an example but they forgot that even the word Yeshua is is a proof who is Jesus the name itself uh, and everything Jesus he said I mean why the son even he says glorify your son glorify your son so me the son may glorify you I mean, God will not glorify me who am I for my sin For the temptation I live? For the wrong I do? In order to be glorified by the Father, you have to have the quality of a glory. Are you with me? And the quality of a glory, the Bible says to us that every human being is a sinner. Can we glorify a sinner for his sin? So to be glorified by the Father, you have to be from the quality of the Father, who is a glory himself. Not only we glorify him, he is the glory. There's no glory except his glory. You see, when somebody he say, bless you. The fact I cannot bless you. I'm just making a short sentence saying, may God bless you. Blessing come from the Father. Blessing come from, Messiah, from the Messiah. Not from me. Not from you. We can't even bless ourselves. We need the blessing of God. So, if I am a person, God glorify me. Then why I will be glorified? 
You see, uh, uh, the Bible speaks about uh, David have a glory, but not the glory of the Jesus, the glory of a king. Army, you know, massive uh, kingdom, massive worth. That is a glory of a man. God don't glorify you for that because everything you have is nothing. We will not even take with you, not even one a spoon of gold to the grave. If you take it there, the thieves will take it after you die. But the Messiah is glorified by the Father for the quality, for he's born of the Father. In the same time, the Messiah make it so clear that he is exist. I had in union with you before the universe was. And this is from the Aramaic Bible. And then they say to you, well, Jesus said that you should know that you are the only true God. But why you would want to quote the rest? And I am your son. And I am exist with the Father before the world. And I am from above. And you are from below. I have a priest in my city who support LGBT. Okay, he is not a priest for Christianity. He is a priest of LGBT. <laughs> you know, we know what the, what the Bible says. Anyone he preach other gospel other than this, let him be cursed. Correct? So we do not need even to debate about it. He is a satanic. He is not a Christian. Very simple. Never go to a church promote anything against the Bible. If you go to any church, ask a serious questions. Don't be silly. But okay, what time of the service? This is not a question. Ask the priest, what do you think about uh, homosexuality? What do you think about Islam? What do you think about abortion? If he agree with all those things, he is not the one to be in his church. This is the synagogue of the devil. Very simple. You do not need to argue and debate. Just to clean your sandal from the dust of that building. This is not a church of God. They have a cross in the building. They have whatever. This is satanic place. All of them, by the way, because they are cowards. Those are fake priests. They don't dare to say what the Bible is saying. But all of us, we know. I mean, you want to put your head in the sand? Says it doesn't say that CP. Didn't God destroy cities for the same reason? So don't let the devil be your master. Those are the devil is their master, not the Messiah. What the Lord he said, there is a sentence we should always use for everything we do in our life. From their fruits, you shall know them very simple if you want to do business with somebody let us say you want to partner somebody in business you want to open a store together uh, you know you have a friend you want to open a gas station a grocery store uh, you know you want to do landscape business like you are you have limited budget you are poor god bless you if you are poor uh, but you wouldn't want to partner with somebody he cheat he's a cheater he will cheat on you. You want a partner with somebody who will never accept a cheat. If you partner with a cheater and you know he's a cheater, then how you expect him to be decent in the in the partnership if you know a man let us say a woman she meet a man and this man he brag about how many girls he lied to them and then you decide to marry him you must be mentally ill stupid this guy he is even proud about his cheating you marry a cheater so why he will not cheat on you and, and not only that, he told you already that he is proud 
to be a cheater. He think he's smart for doing that. Same for a woman. If you marry a woman, she have no shame to speak about such a thing. You marry her, good luck. Here we go. She already cheated somebody before you. She will cheat on you too. From their fruits, you shall know them. This is why we believe in Jesus. Because his words is priceless. It can be our best guideline. Not a statement of a man. People, they can speak so good, but they do so bad. Good tree give good fruits. Otherwise, why we call it good tree? What is good about it? We have to be smart, peaceful like a, a dove, and you know, wise like a, a snake. You know, you watch carefully what's going around you, but don't be evil like a snake. Wise. The example here of wise, you know, like even in medicine, they use a snake for like, you know, uh, for health, because even in the poison, there is wisdom. If you use your wisdom, you can use the poison to heal you. If you are a fool, the same poison can kill you. Do we want more proof of how wisdom works? Poison is very useful and it's very dangerous at the same time. So we don't refuse poison, we can use it for good. As an example, when I quote the Quran every day, this is a poison book. But I am immune against it. It doesn't hurt me, it helped me to make Muslims leave Islam. So I use the Quran and Muhammad words as a medicine, which is a poison to make them leave. I show it to them, I read it to them, I explain it to them, and they leave Islam. I don't even quote the Bible unless they try to skip the topic. Because I believe that it's not worth to put the Word of God between the hands of somebody disrespected. Um, I dream about a tree and it have many big health fruits, healthy fruit. Is that have spiritual mean? I, I'm not here to explain your <laughs> dream for you guys. Uh, maybe before you slept, you desire to eat some fruits. I have nothing to do with any spiritual thing, you know. Maybe you are angry. Uh, only you can can tell what what uh, what you feel. Uh, however, uh, we as a Christian we should be wise, and uh, the most important decision of wisdom is to arm yourself with the word of the Messiah not the word of the foolish men and women around us. They will destroy you, you know. They want to convince you that wrong is right and right is wrong. And they have all the tools. They are using even beer. I've been told by somebody that in California, they have a day, it's called get out of your closet to kids. And they make kids is, is talking about sex. Did you see your mom and your dad having sex in the bedroom? Tell us about it. Tell the kids. Look how evil those teachers are. So you have to be careful 
even when you send your kids to school who is teaching them what they are teaching them what they are saying to them in fact if I have kids I will not send them to school I will teach them at home such a program is approved in USA I don't want to come back to teach my son or my daughter the first they do you better be sure that when you send your son to a school who is the teacher what they teach what they stand for what they believe otherwise you just delivered your child to the devil you deliver your child by your own hand God created man to be a man and God created women to be a woman. You are respected when you are a woman, not when you are acting like a man, saying for the man. Act like a man when you are a man. Because this is what the man does. He talk, walk, act like a man. Women, they are beloved by men because they are women, not because they have mustache, not because they have voice like us or hairy chest. Don't make them fool you. God gave you a gift actually as a woman. Man don't have. Even your weakness is a strength. Women beauty, women kindness, women uh, uh, emotion, all those things can be a wonderful gift if the women knew how to use them. You will capture the man, the real man. You will capture his heart, you will capture his eyes, you will capture his thought. Yet you are weaker than him. The Bible says that the man, he go join his wife. And they become one. But why you want to become one with her? Because simply, the man, he don't have what the women she have. He don't have her kindness. He don't have her fame. He don't have her softness, uh, uh, her, 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 her loving, her kind. Her, every, tons of things. The man is different. We are, we are different. So the man, he find what he is not having is there and the woman she find that what she don't have is there too so both they complete each other but if a man he marry a woman she thinks she is a, 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 a woman she is a man what the point of this marriage or if a woman she marry a man he think he is a woman that would be hilarious When God, He designed us, He designed us this way for a reason. And remember, God, He created Adam and Eve from one flesh. In fact, the Bible in the beginning called both Adam. Adam meaning human, actually. It doesn't mean even male. So, Adam and Eve are the same a flesh that the flesh being given blessing each one of them to be different so they can be companions and when God created Adam and Eve he created only one Eve we are not animals where there's a rooster and there's a bunch of a chicken the man he have one heart to love with. If you are a person who fell in love with everyone you meet in the way between men and women, that means you love nobody. And you don't know what love is. Easy come, easy go. Marry a believing woman 
and a believing man. Truly believer, not by name. Otherwise you will struggle and you will suffer horribly. Remember, all of us, we, we do sin. All of us, we are sinners. We are not saying we are perfect because I'm a man and you are a woman. No. But there is a reason for everything. Everything have a reason. What do you think about guys who order their wife what to dress like? Is that a sin? What, what do you mean order her like, you know, to be, to dress decent? First of all, the Bible says women, they should be obedient to their husband. Secondly, a husband, he should treat his wife as a Christ treat the church. So a wife should not even need to be ordered how to dress. Should a dress decent she did not should not need the husband to tell her what to dress if you marry a woman you need to tell her how to dress that means you married the wrong woman same time there's a dress code for both not only for the women who said that the man can go naked if a man he go in the street and he open his uh, t-shirt all those bombs showing his chest that is not doesn't sound like a decent man, right? So a dress code goes for both. However, clothing is not a reason to believe a person is bad or not, but it is a sign of uh, the personality, how you think, what you think, and how you make decision. I wish CP would marry me. I wish I will not. Uh, all right, any other question? Our video becomes so long now, we don't know what to do with it. So I will give you time to download those calls most time they call me, especially the Abdul, he called me in the beginning. And then we will take down this video. Anything else? Well, there is women, you know, they are coming from maybe from different culture. Remember, you know, like everybody is coming from different place. So what is okay for women, a Western woman to dress is not okay for me. So Maybe she is not uh, trying to be bad, but she is coming from different culture. Their dress code is different, you know. So you have to understand uh, uh, first that she is coming from different culture, and I will not command her. I will explain to her why I don't like what she is dressing. As an example, you know, and uh, but this should happen before the marriage. Because don't you see her how she dressed before you marry her? If you agree with the way she dressed before marriage, you lost your right to question the way she dressed after marriage. Because this is how she dressed from the beginning. Right? You were blind? You did not see how she dressed? What do you think of jeans? Nothing wrong with jeans. Don't think I'm a Taliban. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm saying, you know, there is a clothing. Like, you know, there is, uh, you, you go, you see uh, uh, people going in the street. I mean, if, if you look in the videos on YouTube, you're disgusting, it's stupid, silly. You know, you lose respect for people when they dress like that, men and women. You know, uh, uh, showing too much skin, that means your brain is getting shorter. This this means your your brain is a uh, the you think your skin is what will make you valuable you know the more you show the more you show it means you are shallow 
uh, why why a uh, why a woman she want to wear a skirt you can see her panty when she's standing so what we will see when she sit down and what you are trying to do exactly what what the point of this skirt you tell me are you trying to make all the men look at you are you trying to look like available for everybody what do you want the same for the man the man should dress in a certain way otherwise you know he will give a wrong uh, impression of what he his purpose why he's there many men they spend their time you know I when I was in Asia I saw many men doing body care and I could not believe it I went to go to barber shop to cut my hair and then you go inside the barber shop you see men 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 doing body care for their nails they say to me sir do you like to do I said what are you talking about why in the world a man want to do that what's wrong you want to look pretty Actually, me myself, I don't even shave uh, in the barber shop. I use, I have a machine. But uh, if I, if you are traveling and you need to do so, well, you have to do it. You know. Uh, but uh, people they do weird stuff. Like there is a day, I don't know what the holiday exactly. It's not. A, it's, it's a. It's a pagan day, obviously. It's like a Halloween. I forgot what the name. Men wearing panties. Do you look funny? No, you don't look funny. You look stupid. You know, women, they are wearing nothing see-through on the street. I mean, it's very... Uh, you need to ask yourself why you are doing that. That means you are very shallow. Say <clears throat> uh, Allah... God is the only one. He is self-sufficient. Yeah, well, you know what? Allah is self-sufficient, but yet he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So look like the sufficient of your God does not function. Unless there is a private part of a female next to him. Do you see how self-sufficient he is? Very self-sufficient. And the self-sufficient Allah, he could not do what Jesus can do. Nobody heard him, not even his fault. But he is self-sufficient. By the way, the verse you are saying, it doesn't say, so it's Allah is one. It says he is one off. So again, your God Allah is not even self-sufficient in Arabic. He used the wrong word. The word Ahad is the same as the Hebrew word Echad. Echad is not one as a number, it's one as a unity. Echad. Uh, he begot not nor begotten, but yet Allah, he have a Quran, and the Quran is not created. So I will give you 10,000 years to tell me where the Quran begotten from. Remember, it's you who just posed for me that he begot not, nor he begotten and if the Quran is not a created the Quran is begotten from where I will give you 7,000 years as long as your prophet like number seven trying to use what Jesus say there is nothing like him well that's me ask my mom nothing like me I used to be fired from the school every two or three days my mom she says None of your brother like you. Yeah, I must be Allah then. And even that sentence is taken from the Old Testament where it says nothing like God. But your God, everything like him. As an example, he's stupid. He says stupid things, he does stupid things. He believes in fairy tale stories. So when you say nothing like Allah, I have to agree. He is so stupid to the point he beat everybody. Solomon, he died standing, holding a stick, and nobody noticed. 
for sure Allah, nothing like him. You have to be literally mental, mentally ill to the point he believe in such a story, to the point he want to print it and publish it. Imagine I'm writing a book, and then I say to the audience, I want to tell you a true story happened to me. My grandfather, he died standing for a year. How many people will show respect to my intelligence after that? But for sure people will agree, nothing like me. Yeah. So this is all what you have? Nothing like Allah? And too many hearts? What those hearts for? Your God Allah is like a yo-yo. I never heard of a God. He come coming every day in the third part of the night. Yo-yo. Why? Because you want to listen to the, the prayer of the believers. Well, why Allah don't have a good reception from his heaven? So he decided to come like a yo-yo every day? Up and down, boing, 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 boing. My God, you do not need to come every third part of the night. I can't talk from here. He listen to me, you know, he hear me there. What a stupid religion. The yo-yo God. And the funny, this is Quran word 112. Why you don't call me so you can read for me Quran 111? Or 113. Do you want to die laughing? This is why it was Mohammedan. They are always ashamed. They try to change the topic and they don't want to talk about it. They mention something to you. The second you start showing them how stupid what they say, they do their best to change what they, what, what they just said. Like the guy, this Indian guy, he called me. It, what a horrible answer he gave me. He exposes the prophet horribly. A Muslim, he glorified God. He never saw, he never spoke to. Even his prophet never saw, never spoke to. You see, the funny is, that the God of Islam claim in the Quran that he spoke to all prophets. And Muhammad is the most close prophet to Allah, according to Muslims. Why Allah never spoke to him? Any Muslim can tell me? The Quran mentioned that Allah, he spoke to Moses. He spoke to Abraham. He spoke to Isa. He spoke to everybody. Even he spoke to Shaitan. Allah never spoke to Muhammad. He sent the messenger to deliver a message to Muhammad. If the king don't want to see you, that means you are not important person. Is that correct? Yeah, Muhammad is one of the most hundred person uh, influence in the world in terrorism, sexualism, all kind of evilism. But the fact, the truth is, the one who wrote the book is an idiot. He should make it more clear that Muhammad is the most influenced person in killing and death and rape. Every Muslim believe that raping women, especially if she is his wife, is okay. Even they believe in having sex with women after they die. So Muhammad for sure, he have a big influence in 1.6 according to Muslim idiot. However, the whole world is under the influence of Jesus. For the date, the computer, the watch, the salary, your everything is by Jesus' name, by the birth of Jesus. So people, they can make a book, and this is why you are proud about it. One guy, he said this. Look, this, look how desperate you are. You could not find me one good thing about your prophet. You bring me somebody making a commercial book to make money. One hundred. He put Muhammad there because he knew Muslims will buy it. 
As an example, Muhammad is the most influential per, uh, influ, influenced person to teach breastfeeding for adult. Did your mom practice it? Do you want to call me? Or keep? Hussain, I can open Skype just for you. I want to see the influence of Muhammad. Prove your point. You just said he is the top 100 ranking in influence. Did your mother practice breastfeeding for adults? I want to see how much influence Muhammad have on you. If you don't, that means you don't believe what you are saying. Muhammad is arrogant. Uh, CP is arrogant person. He covered the truth. Uh, well, I, isn't it your God, Allah? He says nobody can cover the truth. So how you say how you say I cover the truth? That means Allah. He lost. Uh, and this is explain why anyone can change the word of Allah. Yet Allah, He says nobody can change His words because Allah is an idiot. He go and take a nap, and Christian Prince, He can change His you know His words, and He can cover the truth. Why you don't call me and tell me the truth about sperm coming from the backbone? Of the man and women ribs I like to learn the truth do you want to do that as long as you want to share the truth share it with us is it true that your God he will do ejaculation and the water come from under his throne will resurrect people from the death ejaculation and this is the God who said to you, worship me. Go watch the video of Mufti Laith. What the name of the video? Maybe we can play it before we go. Just for fun. To make you have some good time before we sleep. It's getting very late for me actually. How am I going to sleep now? For me, if it's getting late, I will have a difficulty to sleep. Uh... Even even Mufti Link, Mufti, uh, what's the name? Mufti Laith. The poor guy, he have to open an umbrella to cover his head from what your prophet said. Allah will do ejaculation. Yeah, but what the name of the video? Umbrella video? Abu Laith. On Mark. Oh, okay. Yeah, but this is not, this is my video. You're posting my video. No, we don't want that. Anyway. You will bow before Allah? Well, I doubt that because you have to prove for me first that Allah is exist. What kind of God he create himself from the sweat of a horses? You will bow down, you and your prophet, under the feet of Jesus and you will be sent to hell with Muhammad if you don't do that. I assure you that Muhammad will be in hell fire. In the day of judgment when he meet the Messiah you see even the the, 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 the filthy Muhammad he admit that even when the Antichrist he meet the Messiah what will happen anyone remember what will happen the devil when he see the Messiah he will melt the same as salt melt in water that is the Messiah my friend Shaitan, he gave your prophet satanic verses. He did not get melted like salt. But when Shaitan, he see the Messiah, he will melt. That's what your prophet saying. Not me. Can you explain to me why he will dissolve like salt in water? 
what is the power Jesus he have? Why Shaitan he did not dissolve in front of Allah or Muhammad? Hmm? They praise pagan God, the God of the black stone, the vagina. They know and we know that he is a pagan God. Why you don't call me archive? You know, here we go. I'm tired. It's very late. You, you now. This is the time you can beat me. Actually, I'm yawning. I mean, what kind of a prophet he says that yawning is from the devil and sneezing is from Allah? This is how stupid your prophet is. Yawning from the devil and sneezing from Allah. So if somebody have a flu, that is a good thing. Allah is happy. Not only that, your prophet, he says, Allah, he get happy when people, they sneeze. Why Allah will get happy when people sneeze? Mental, stupid stories, you know, and those potatoes, they believe in this garbage. We are very, you know, uh, uh, I mean, grateful that the Muhammadan, they uh, wrote down all this garbage from the mouth of Muhammad. Because if not, how we are going to love and expose him easy? Easy. Even Muhammad, uh, you know, he made it clear that Allah and the Shaitan they look the same. The difference is that this Shaitan he will come and he will try to make himself look like the Messiah. But how we recognize which one is Allah, which one is Shaitan, the eye one eye so Allah and Shaitan they look the same is it me who said that no this is what Muhammad said Allah is short you have a big ass this is not my description this is your description of your prophet The only difference between him and the way shaitan he looked like is only one eye. And Muhammad was worried that the Muslims will be confused about who is Allah. Which one is Allah? Shaitan or Allah? Why? Because shaitan, he will come in the look of a man. He claimed to look like the Messiah as a look. And Muhammad is worried that the Muhammadan, they will think that this is Allah. But why they want to think he is Allah if he look like a man? I will leave that question to the Muhammadan. They cannot answer. Why don't you and your moon start Discord server and account? It's more popular. You know, I tried it once. It, it turned to be like a bathroom. I do not know who's talking, many voices. It's a stupid program. I don't like it. Here we can show in the screen. We can share evidence, reference. I went only to this program called Discord. I don't know who's talking, who's not talking. It's literally like Middle Eastern... Uh, uh, or, or Ottoman style bathroom there's a hundred men inside taking a shower all of them together and the scream and the voices and the sound in the dark but as you see here Allah is a man he look like the Antichrist the only difference between Allah as a look and Antichrist is one eye 
If you don't believe me, the proof in front of you. So the Muslim, they have big mouth, they keep talking, 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 but they cannot really say anything serious. You know? Like, okay, top ranking, here, here we go, he keep repeating this. Yeah, yeah, look, this is the only thing he want to talk about. Muhammad top ranking. Okay, what about Hitler? His, main, his name is mentioned there too. <laughs> Stupid. They cannot prove to us their prophet. They brought somebody, he wrote a book saying Muhammad have influence. And Rotate have influence. He's, he called himself uh, Top G. Oh, that means Muhammad is under Rotate now. This guy, he have a 3 million subscribers. Is his name there as a pimp in the book too? Your prophet is a pimp. Very silly, very stupid people, you know. They, they, they are bankrupt. Truly bankrupt. You know, actually, in fact, instead of saying Allah is the biggest influence in the world, they are saying Muhammad. Pagan, you know. They are pagan. They worship a man. Shouldn't you say that Allah... The God supposedly is the one who have the real influence. You praise a man. Actually, his name is Muhammad. You pray his name. The praise one. Muslims are pagan. They worship a man. His name is Muhammad. His name is the praised one. If Muhammad is the praised one, who is praised to? Pagan. You will not find a Christian saying Paul is the most influence. Or John, because they are not God. We will say Jesus. You Muslims, you could you talk about Muhammad. For all of you are nothing except Muhammad worshippers, who is a child molester, criminal, thieves. I mean, all of this is documented in front of us. Even when he went, let us talk about influence. He went to his own son wife. He flirted with the wife when the husband is not there. Do you see how good the influence is? He's Andrew Tate. He is Andrew Tate. Pimp. When you go to the house of your son, son, the man who trusted you to be with his wife alone, with his wife, what do you do? And this is according to the Muslim stories. God knows what really happened. When they say that he flirted with her, do you think it stopped there? Do you think really Muhammad he stopped with flirting with the wife only? No way. A faithy man like this, he will not stop there. When a man he go to a married woman's house and he flirt with her and he make her hear what he is saying, he is doing it in purpose. He want her to hear. This is not a flirt. What Jesus said about such a man? We have verses in the Bible about it. Actually, this is against the Ten Commandments of God. Muhammad, he broke every single commandment. Don't wish a woman she is not yours. Don't wish the women of your relative, your neighbor. Don't, don't, don't. Name one thing for me, Muhammad. He did not break a break from the Ten Commandment. Very filthy, very trashy. Yet you worship him for his trashy. And when you are trashy, you worship trashy. No, no, the author of the Hadith did not say the truth. You see, the Muslims, because they worship Muhammad, they believe that they have a privilege. So they don't think it's a bad thing. They think it's a privilege from God for him. If you open the book of al qurtubi it says, in the same story about Zayd and Zainab, Ibn al-Arabi said that the Prophet, he have 16 privilege. Number 10, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so the Prophet can if her. So you need to understand the mentality. For them, they don't see it bad. He made them pervert too. Not only he's a pervert. 
because now they don't see it as bad. Ibn Ishaq, in his book, he said, there is many things is not as suitable to be mentioned. We took it off. He did not put all the hate in his books. We showed you in the beginning of today video that Omar he did beat even uh, Abu Huraira when he mentioned some hadith. Why? Because it's very embarrassing. So because those people they are really totally worshipping the man and they believe that he is above anything. You see your wife, you like her, so what? You give him the pro this is the prophet. This is Muhammad man. This is how they think. So for them, they don't see that this is something this is he's a pervert. They believe that this is his right, it's a privilege. Even Muhammad he made a verse about it in the Quran. Privilege only for you, sexual privilege. So they are not being truthful as much they are being subdued. He is the prophet who have sexual privilege. I spoke to many Muslims. I said, if the, so if the prophet, I commissioned that story, if your, the prophet come to your house and he like your wife, he will not mind. He said, I will be honored. He said, I will be honored if the prophet, he want my wife. They lose their manhood in the front of Muhammad. They are cowards. They don't dare to say, oh, shame, no way. Very disgusting belief. Do you know that in Islam there is no penalty for having sex with your mother? Do you know that the Quran says it's forbidden for you, your mother, right? Forbidden for you, mother. Do you know that even the Quran says that you can have sex with your daughter? There's a verse that says it's forbidden for you, your daughter. Oh, so what you are saying to me that I can have sex with my daughter? A daughter in Islam is a daughter from marriage. If you have a daughter out of marriage, you can sleep with her. Same for your mother. Your mother is not from marriage, is not your mother. You are just an animal. A brother, he can have sex with his sister if she is a sister out of marriage, for she is not his sister according to Islam. Just to make it simple for the ignorant who do not know, in Islam, if you are a son is born of wood, wood, woodlock, uh, you don't have the name of the father. You have no right to inherit neither his name or his inheritance as money or even to live in the house. Why? Because according to Islam, you are not a son or a daughter. Therefore, and this is their book so we can show it, it says, the father is not forbidden to have sex with the mother and his daughter, even though this is his daughter from his blood. This is how satanic this cult is. How far Satan can go. Right? In fact, the whole Quran, you see in the Bible is speaking about a specific penalty for homosexuality. In the Quran it says, uh, it hurt them, hurt them. That's it. Hurt them. You read the interpretation, beat them with sandals. Eh. It's not a big deal for Muhammad. Imagine if a person he do fornication, if a young man, he fornicate with the women, we beat him. If a man sleep with a man, we beat him too. It's the same. And then Muhammad, when he did live with the Jews, 
He decided he noticed that he is really a pervert. So he decided to do something about it. He said, according to the Muslims, he said, the one who do this, kill him. But it's not in the Quran. Anyway, people, it, uh, it's getting late, very late here. And we are here for how many hours? Six hours? Five hours, seven minutes. What I will do now? I mean, I have to cut this video. So download it. I, I apologize. The video becomes so long. Maybe I should uh, uh, hide the video and shorten it using, you know, YouTube Studio and then publish it again. All right, so you can download the calls. This Abdul, who is from India, he called me. Are we good? Anyway, I will leave it as it is for some time so you can download it. Uh, maybe until I wake up and uh, tomorrow if I sleep. It's already tomorrow, actually. Uh, and then I will try to cut it off so we can keep only the debate with this Abdul, if we can call it a debate. All right, I want to say thank you for being here, and I pray to the Lord uh, that the Muslim will see the truth, and the truth will set them free. A pervert cannot be a master of anything except to teach me to how to be a pervert. The only one is holy, his name is the Messiah. If you can find me someone is better than him, let me know. I would like to know. Your God, Allah, is not even close to be considered holy in any way, in any mean. God who approved muta, prostitution, uh, 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 having sex with married women, lying to the wife, the wife lying to her husband, he have zero ethic. From their fruits, you shall know them, the Messiah, he said. If you want to know who is the Messiah, go check his fruits. If you want to know who is Allah and his prophet, go check their, uh, their fruits. And then you will be the judge again from their fruits. You shall know them. Thank you very much. And may the Lord bless you. See you soon again.